குருபியோ நமக வாம் கிரீட்டிங்ஸ் மை டியர் சில்ட்ரன் இந்த ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் ஐ ஹவ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ட் அபவுட் ஃபைபர்ஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் கிளாஸிஃபிகேஷன் தெர்மோ பிளாஸ்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் தெர்மோ செட்டிங் பிளாஸ்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் த ரிப்பீட்டட் கொஸ்டின் லைக் டிஸ்டிங்குஷ் பிட்வீன் தெர்மோ பிளாஸ்டிக் அண்ட் தெர்மோ செட்டிங் பிளாஸ்டிக்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் கிளாஸ் லெட் வி டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் பாலிமரைசேஷன் ரியாக்ஷன் கிளாஸிஃபிகேஷன் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் க்ரோத் பாலிமர்ஸ் in that addition polymerization or chain polymerization under this uh, we are going to discuss about free radical mechanism let's start with uh, classification based on growth polymers there are two broad types of polymerization reaction the first one is addition or chain growth polymerization second one is condensation or step growth polymerization well let me start with addition polymerization or chain growth polymerization already we have learned about what is addition reaction what is condensation reaction please go through it so in addition reaction many monomers or alkenes or alkynes or other molecules with a double bond with which react by addition to the unsaturated double bond please remember let me repeat the point with double bond which react by addition to their unsaturated double bond so the main reaction is depends on the double bond so the electrons in the double bond are used to bond two monomer molecules together this is represented by the red arrows moving from one molecule to the space between two molecules where a new bond is to form the formation of polyethene from ethene okay may be illustrated in the graphic on the left as follows in this in the complete polymer all of the double bonds have been turned into single bond so no atoms have been lost and you can see that the monomers have just been joined in the process of addition let me repeat the point very important no atoms have been lost and you can see that the monomers have just been joined in the process of addition have you understood okay so polyethene is used in plastic bags bottles toys and electrical illustrations electrical apparatus etc etc here you have to remember two more points okay so in this type of polymerization the molecules of the same monomer or different monomers act together on a large scale to form a polymer so the monomers again i am repeating the monomers used are unsaturated compound okay so the this mode of polymerization leading to an increase in the chain length or chain growth can takes place through the formation of either free radical mechanism or ionic mechanism or ionic species however the free radical governed addition or chain growth polymerization is the most common mode so here we have to understand the mechanism of the free radical mechanism of this addition polymerization okay so under this mechanism all the monomers from which addition polymers are made or alkene or functionally substituted alkene okay the most common and thermodynamically favored chemical transformation of alkenes or addition reaction please remember the most common and thermodynamically favored chemical transformations of alkenes or addition reaction many of this addition reaction are known to proceed in the step wise fashion by way of reactive intermediates and this is the mechanism followed by most polymerization a general diagram illustrated this assembly of linear macromolecules which support the name chain growth polymers is presented here okay so here we are going to talk about four important point the first one is radical polymerization that is the initiator is a radical and the propagation site of the reactivity is the carbon radical the second one is cationic polymerization the initiator of an acid and the propagation site of reactivity is a carbocation 
The third one is anionic polymerization. The initiated is the nucleophile and the propagation site of reactivity is a carbanion. Okay. The fourth one is coordination carbo uh, coordination catalytic polymerization. The initiator is a transition metal complex and the propagation site is a terminal catalytic complex. Have you understood all the four terminology? So, these four terminology will be useful to distinguish four polymerization procedure filling this general description. Okay. So, here let me start with radical chain growth polymerization. So, here two things you have to remember. Virtually all of the monomers describe above or subjected to radical polymerization. Since this can be initiated by traces of oxygen or other minor impurities, pure sample of these compounds are often stabilized by small amounts of radical inhibits to avoid unwanted reaction. Okay? Now, when radical polymerization is described, it must be started by using radical initiator. Again, let me repeat the point. When the radical polymerization is described, it must be started by using a radical in initiator. Okay, so such as peroxide or certain azo compounds. The formulas of some common initiators and uh, equation shown in the following class. Okay, so by using small amount of initiator, a wide variety of monomers can be polymerized. Okay, so now what is the example we are going to talk about? One example of this radical polymerization is a conversion of styrene to polystyrene. Okay, or otherwise we can talk about conversion of ethene to polyethene. So, three steps we are going to talk about. The first one is initiation reaction, the second one is propagation reaction, the last one is termination reaction. So, as this radical react with another molecule of ethane, another bigger sized radical is formed. Have you understood? So, the repetition of this sequence with a new and bigger radical carries the reaction forward and the step is termed, termed as chain propagation step. Okay. So, ultimately at some stage the product radical thus formed reacts with another radical to form the polymerized product. Children, as I have explained now, chain polymerization is classified into two types, radical and uh, ionic polymerization. Here I have given all the notes, so note it down very clearly. Along with the other four types uh, of general description like uh, radical polymerization, cationic polymerization, anionic polymerization, the last one is coordination catalytic polymerization. Please note it down and uh, go through once. Now let me explain the example for addition polymerization. One second, small recap. Self addition of several bifunctional monomers to each other takes place by chain reaction without the elimination of any simple molecule. This is, uh, this is how you will define addition polymerization. So, in this I am going to take ethene as a monomer, it will be converted into polyethene as a polymer. Here instead of ethene we can talk about propene or propylene or vinyl chloride, styrene, acryl, acrylonitrile all this can be taken in presence of uh, the catalyst. Have you understood? Now, monomers will be converted into polymer. Okay, the first step is large molecule of ethene molecule will be converted into polyethene. Okay, so here the double bond present in ethene will be first removed. That is the electrons present in the double bond will be shifted towards the respective carbon so that those electrons will be forming a chain of compound. So, by end of this process we are going to by this polymerization process we are going to get the repeated unit of polyethene.
before we start with the mechanism let me uh, remember few important points virtually all of the monomers described above are subject to radical polymerization since this can be initiated by traces of oxygen or other may minor impurities okay pure sample of these compounds are often stabilized by small amounts of radical initiator or inhibitors to avoid unwanted reaction when radical polymerization is described it must be started by using a radical initiator okay such as uh, peroxide or certain azo compound the formulas of some common initiator and incubation shown in the diagram by using small amount of initiator a wide variety of monomer can be polymerized one example of this radical polymerization is a conversion of ethene into polyethene as shown in the diagram the first two equation illustrate the initiation reaction in illustrate the initiation process and the last two equation or example for chain propagation each monomer units adds to the growing chain in the manner that generates the most stable radical remember since carbon radicals are stabilized by substituents of many kinds the preference for head to tail respectively in most addition polymerization is undesirable okay so because radicals are tolerant of many functional groups and solvents including water radical polymerizations are widely used in the chemical industry now let me talk about the principle once started the radical polymerization might be expected to continue unchecked producing a few extremely long chain polymer in practice larger number of moderately sized chains are formed indicating that chain termination reaction must be taking place the most common termination process are radical combination and disproportionation let me repeat the point the most common termination process are radical combination and disproportionation reaction these reactions are illustrated by the following reaction as i have shown in the uh, figure the growing polymer chains are colored blue okay and the hydrogen atom transferred in disproportionation is colored as purple color okay note that in both type of termination two reactive radical sites are removed by simultaneous conversion to stable products have you understood note that in both type of termination two reactive radical sites are removed by simultaneous conversion to stable product so since the concentration of radical species in a polymerization is a small relative to the reactant okay radical species in a polymerization is a small relative to the reactant example monomers solvents or terminated chain okay so the rate at which these radical radical termination reaction occurs is very small so what will happen most growing chain achieve moderate length before termination have you understood okay the last point you have to remember the relative importance of this termination varies with the nature of monomer undergoing polymerization here in this reaction we have taken ethene as a monomer whereas you can take a styrene as i have mentioned so here uh, first we are preparing the radical which one generation of free radical we are taking the peroxide phenyl peroxide now from this we will be converting into free radical that is benzene phenyl free radical so this phenyl free radical again it is mentioned as r it will be reacting with the stable ethene compound so once the radical is uh, reacting with the neutral compound it will be forming a radical again okay so now by coupling or by the combination of two radical we are going to grow the chain of the product okay so by disproportionation reaction you could see the 
free radical whatever we have taken as a initiator it is there still in the reaction. So, towards the end of this uh, termination reaction, we have to remove that free radical what we have used as a catalyst. 